Situation in Alberta continues to evolve rapidly. The latest global tracking data from Johns Hopkins University indicates that the total number of confirmed cases at more than 190,000. 155 countries have been affected. Uh, there have been over 7,500 fatalities and 80,600 people have recovered. Later today, Dr. Hinshaw will provide updated case numbers here in Alberta. Around the world, a variety of dramatic measures are being implemented to contain the spread of COVID-19. The situation is very serious, and we are taking action more effectively to protect Albertans against this pandemic. Last night, we held a meeting of our Emergency Management Committee of Cabinet, which authorized me to use all powers necessary to keep Albertans safe. That's why today I'm announcing that Alberta is declaring a state of public emergency in response to COVID-19. This declaration is meant to empower authorities under the Public Health Act to more effectively manage the pandemic response. Decisive action is needed and we are taking that action. The Emergency Management Committee of Cabinet met again this morning and in response to the escalating numbers of infections, Dr. Hin Shah and her team have also recommended new measures on social distancing to contain the spread of the virus and the government of Alberta has accepted those recommendations. So in addition to declaring a public health emergency, the Alberta government is moving forward with aggressive new measures to contain the virus. Any organized gathering of more than 50 people are to be canceled immediately. All Albertans are pro prohibited from attending public recreational facilities and private entertainment facilities, such as casinos, bingo halls, bars, theaters, and, and children's play centers until further notice. They are also prohibited from attending recreational facilities, arenas, science centers, museums, art galleries, and community centers, fitness centers, and entertainment facilities. Conferences, worship gatherings, and uh, family events with more than people, 50 people, uh, such as weddings and funerals, should also be canceled. I also want to be clear about what will not be impacted by these measures. This order will not apply to healthcare facilities, to this legislature, to grocery stores, airports, and other essential services. Nonprofit, community, and religious soup kitchens will also be exempt from this order, as will homeless shelters. We're working with our homeless shelters on protocols uh, to help to uh, prevent uh, and contain any prospective infections. Additionally, sit-down restaurants, not including uh, buffets, pubs, delis, and coffee shops will be allowed to remain open at this time, but they will be limited to a maximum of 50 people or 50% of their authorized capacity, whichever is lower. This is the same uh, protocol adopted by the Government of Quebec this week. Drive-through, takeout, and delivery will still be permitted. In fact, uh, the government today has changed regulations to allow restaurants to engage in uh, off, -sale, uh, off sales of liquor to help them liquidate their inventories during this very challenging time. I recognize that these measures will have a profound impact on the lives of Albertans, but they are frankly necessary in the face of this growing pandemic. Alberta's Chief Medical Officer of Health is also advising all Albertans to take appropriate steps to socially distance themselves from others during their day-to-day -day lives. Around the world, a variety of dramatic measures are being implemented to contain the spread of COVID-19. That has meant social distancing and self-isolation, depending on individual circumstances. We have committed to ensuring Albertans uh, that, that, that will have the, all of the guidance and support they need to meet this unprecedented moment in our history. This means acting quickly to address the indirect impacts of the spread of COVID-19 by supporting vulnerable Albertans in particular. To assist Albertans affected by COVID-19, we are dedicating an immediate injection of $60 million to support civil society organizations, and charities and nonprofits, helping folks under isolation to cope with this crisis. These funds will be dispersed before the end of this fiscal year, in other words, before March 31st, 
And uh, just today, I chaired the inaugural meeting of the Premier's Charities Council. I've also appointed uh, as Parliamentary Secretary for Civil Society, uh, Jeremy Nixon, former Executive Director of the Mustard Seed, to work with our charities and nonprofits to ensure that they are helping to reach out to seniors and other vulnerable people in particular who are in self-isolation. Half of the funds will be dedicated to immediate support to homeless shelters and women's shelters to address a range of needs. Funds will also be available to address staff shortages due to self-isolation and potential additional space requirements due to public health recommendations and associated staffing. A second aspect of the funding will provide broader support to civil society organizations. $30 million will extend support services to seniors and other vulnerable community members who are isolated due to COVID-19 or otherwise impacted. They will require additional uh, supports and services as they respond to the need to self-isolate. We will disperse these funds through the Family and Community Support Services to organizations that are already providing services in the community, like Meals for, on Wheels uh, and, and other organizations, as well as helping to deliver, for example, prescriptions to those who need them. Uh, the cab Cabinet today also approved a range of emergency economic measures, uh, which we'll be announcing uh, shortly, uh, perhaps as soon as tomorrow. Lastly, under the leadership of Deputy uh, Minister Paul Winnick, the Provincial Operations Centre has moved to level four of emergency preparedness and has increased staff and resources accordingly. I visited the Provincial Operations Centre last night and was impressed with the dedication and hard work of uh, the professionals involved from across different departments, agencies, levels of government, including industry and civil society. Once again, I want to assure Albertans that the entire government of Alberta is totally focused on dealing with this crisis. This is a serious moment in our history, and COVID-19 will test all of us. But I believe, I know, that this province is resilient and we are ready for the test. I have full confidence in our public health and safety officials, and we will continue doing everything in our power to contain the outbreak and to keep Albertans safe. We'll do whatever it takes to slow the spread of this virus, uh, and uh, to, uh, we've already begun planning uh, for the recovery of our economy following uh, the impact of this crisis. I'm happy to take your questions.